How's it going YouTube? Yeah, Pat Mac here, coach for the Sacramento Saints slash playing in week four of the TGR Restricted League up against Fiac44, coach of the Barcelona Malamads. You can see our team up above, their team down below, both teams arranged in speed order of course, as well as the six Pokemon that we are bringing and the six Pokemon that I think uh, Fiac is going to bring to our match. So part of our game plan uh, involves Drampa. Um, Cloud9, we're playing up against the Sun team, so we want to be able to mitigate the benefits that uh, Sun can give their team. Um, they have several ways to set it up between the Groudon, of course, and uh, Whimsicott gets uh, Sunny Day. So they could be Prankster Sunny Day as well. Um, and then they have uh, several Pokemon that care about the Sun, like Heliolisk and Venusaur and Cherum. And so definitely part of their game plan um, involves around Sun, and so I'm expecting to see some of those Pokemon. I think it's going to be uh, Groudon and Venusaur, but um, it could even be like Entei using um, Eruption and Sun kind of thing. So expecting to see some of those Mons. Uh, then we want to get Trick Room up because they have a very good fast mode and their slow mode isn't as great. Um, they have like Whimsicott uh, Tailwind, so we can't really get faster than them. Um, plus the boost, uh, speed boost that Sun gets from Chlorophyll Venusaur. So we want to get uh, Trick Room up to uh, have a better chance against this team. And then Intimidate is going to be pretty solid against their team as well. Some of their uh, really powerful threats are uh, physical attackers like Groudon and Terrakion. And Entei is often physical, but I've seen it a lot more special lately. Uh, so Intimidate's going to be good here. So expecting that to um, matter for this match as well. So anyway, we'll see what six uh, Fiac decides to bring here in just a moment. Okay, here we are in the match, and oh, okay. So some things that I wasn't expecting. Oh no, Venusaur is kind of nice. I was a little scared of that mod. Um, there is the Heliolisk though. And, uh, which I actually had in my original thought process of what would come, but um, changed it. And then there's no Kangaskhan. He did bring the mascot though, so he's got Malamar. And uh, what else does he have here? Oh, Entei, okay. Which is another one that was like, I don't know, definitely possible with uh, how much, um, with Sun, right? Like that's just part of the, part of the game plan. Okay, so what do I want to lead against this team? Um, I was thinking I wanted to set up Trick Room, so I kind of want to go with like a Hitmontop, Comfy, Marowak, and how good is Veltal here? Um, only so, so. Drampa seems like it could be better. Um, at least I'd have the, um, to go against the Sun mode. Uh, Terrakion's a little scary. Hmm. I think I will go Drampa on this first game. We'll see how it goes. If I, if it isn't working, then we'll switch things up. But anyway, good luck. Have fun over to uh, Fiac. He's one of the mods in uh, our league. Great dude. He runs our... Um, what's it called? It's called the Series Circuit. Um, so you get to do like best of three uh, VGC. So it's kind of like a mix of ladder and... Um, um, I'm going to think of mix of ladder and uh, draft, you know? So it's, it's almost like a, I guess it's best of, like a best of three VGC. I guess that, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so this looks like the beat up uh, combo. So definitely need to be concerned about that. Um, I think my best option here is going to be to fake out something. Uh, I think I'm gonna fake out the Terrakion. Um, that's the one I'm a little more scared of. And then I'm just going to set up Trick Room with um, Comfy. Yeah, let's do that. I think this is probably my best option here. Um, because there's a chance that, like, Whimsicott tries to taunt Comfy. But I do have the Mental Herb to, um, to remove that. And, like, if Terrakion has, like, Iron Head, I'm not actually sure if I can take an Iron Head. I think I can. I'm not, I'm gonna be real, I have no idea. So, we're definitely gonna go for a fake out. We'll see what they go for. They decide not to, um... Okay, we're pretty spadex, so I think we'll be okay there. And I think that pops our berry. And it does not. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. I would have loved to have had our berry go off there. Okay, but we get Trick Room up. Um... I kind of want to... Triple Axle, and I kind of want to mock punch. I want to do both. Let me realize, I kind of want to do both. Um, the 
Let's hit the Terrakion, I think, is probably going to be our best option. Let's do that. And then um, I can also Draining Kiss the Terrakion, too. So let's see if we can take this Mon out. Um, it probably makes our... Oh, he switches. Okay. To Groudon. All right. Um, if... Yeah, this this might be bad. It just depends on if... Uh... Okay, I got to switch the Monza out here anymore. So double priority into that slot. Uh, okay, and it looks like uh, Hitmontop goes down. So we lose Hitmontop. But we are going to get in a Mon for free, which should be good. Uh, do I just want to go to Drampa? I kind of like the sound of that. Let's go to Drampa. And then let's go, um, let's go Heat Wave, because we do want to hit the Whimsicott. And then I kind of just want to Draining Kiss the Whimsicott to break a staff also. So let's try to go for that option. Uh, I wonder what they decide to do. Groudon's really scary and not having an Intimidate um, to drop its um, stats makes this a little scarier. So let's see what they do. They protect there. Okay, that's really nice, actually because I wasn't targeting that spot. So we'll be able to hit the Whimsicott here. And I wonder what they have left. Okay, oh, <laughs> that pause made me think we missed Whimsicott, and I was like, no, please. <laughs> Alright, cool, so we pick up that KO. Okay, and what do they have left over? So they, well, we know they have Thrakion. I don't know if they're gonna bring it in right here. It would be um, pretty scary though, that's for sure. But we'll see what they decide to go for. I really wish I had um, the new Thrakion. Okay, um, I think I have to. Uh, yeah, those are just really scary Pokemon. Do I want to protect? I could protect here. On Grandpa, how many turns of Trick Room do I have? Two turns of Trick Room. Okay, I think I can take a hit from the Groudon. So I'm gonna go after the Drakion. Grass Knight, I think, will help here. And then let's just go Draining Kiss on Trakion as well. I could also protect the Comfy. I don't know if that matters because I think they're gonna target Grandpa. Let's see if we can pick up this KO. Because I. It's really kind of scary, because I'm not actually sure if we have enough damage that we can take out um, one or both of these mons. Well, I guess I don't know if we can take out Drakion right now. And I think we can whip it. Ooh, it's able to take that damage. That's really scary. And they Swords Dance. Yikes. <laughs> That's not good at all. <laughs> okay, that's less going to be careful going down. There's no way I would let it. So Trakion picks the Gale and Drampa, um, and then we only have Marowak left, uh, which I think is okay. Let's see, so they don't have... Oh, wait, I guess I don't know what their last one is, right? How much... We have one turn of Trick Room left. Um, I feel like I have to pick up the KO. We still have Sun out, right? Yeah, there's still Sun. I think my best option is going to be to Fire Punch the crowd on here. And I think I want to Draining Kiss the Terrakion as well. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Because this Groudon is probably going to pick up two KOs right now. Like, I kind of need to hit on top, so maybe saving hit on top earlier would have been a better play. But I think I have to pick up this KO. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm just going to go down. Um, to like the, the combination of their attacks, I could have tried to um, like maybe protect, but like okay, that's nice. We dodge on Marowak. Wow, that's massive. But I don't think we win this. We do. Oh my gosh. Um. Hmm. Okay, so what do we what do we have next here then? Ooh. 
What's their last one? It is an Okay. So, I like, I can't really... Like, I almost have to go for damage, right? But I don't think I can live two hits from these mons. And if I protect and try to trick room, like, Comfy doesn't have enough HP for that. So I think I've kind of lost. I don't think there's a way from play back for me. Um, I think my best option is to try to just hope that things miss. And um, this draining fist isn't going to be enough for that. I could try to protect here, but that doesn't actually do anything. So I think I'm gonna try to drain and kiss the Groudon. Let's see if we can pick up that KO. If we can, maybe there's a chance that um, Marowak uh, can clean this out, but like that's not gonna do that. There's no way. Groudon's super bulky. Um, oh, they have a stream. We oh, actually did that hit, that's kinda crazy. Okay, they hit both, but we're, we're gonna lose it. Okay. Anyway, good game over for the first game. I, um, saving uh, the hit on top would have been the right play there, I think. So I'm gonna have to kind of keep that in mind, keep that in mind um, for the second game. Any other things that I'd want to change? I don't know necessarily. I think uh, saving hit hit on top would have been a really good play though. And then having Terrakion, or not having Terrakion, having um, Veltal, I think, is a good option here, too. So, is there anything else I want to change? Yeah. That's, prob that's probably the biggest switch that I'd want to do. Yeah. Okay, so looking back um, for this second game, I so I want to I make sure I preserve uh, hit on top HP. Um, I think that's pretty important here. Um, but I do also want to set up Trick Room, and so it probably means that I'm going to take a hit from something. The other option is that I just go with damage straight off, um, which isn't that exciting. <laughs> that doesn't sound that great. Uh, I could try starting Nido King actually. Is that a, is that a good idea? I could start like Nido King plus Hitmon top, and then just like forego the. Um, that's an interesting idea. I could for okay, let's go Veltal as well, because I could use the priority. I think that'd be really nice to have. And then I could reduce the sun effectiveness. That's not that important this game, actually. Um And then Comfy. Do I want Marowak around? Uh to Well, I'm not planning on setting up Trick Room more. I guess I am? I don't know. Having the priority here is nice too. Like I have a lot of priority. So maybe I don't need to set up Trick Room. But I can just try to like out prioritize his mons. Let's go with these four. We'll see how it goes. Um Groudon's really hard for me to deal with though, just as a as a Pokemon, so maybe I can look to um, pick up some sneaky KOs with all the priority I have on the team. Uh, but we're not bringing my life this time and then not playing uh Trampa, so. Anyway, good luck, have fun over for the second game. I wonder what he decides to switch, if anything. It obviously worked for him. But he kind of just, like, clicked buttons, you know? Like, <laughs> he just like, I'm going to attack, and then I'm going to attack again, and then again, and then let's attack again. <laughs> so, uh, I think that could definitely happen here again. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, what do I want to go after here? I have a Shifted Berry, so I'm feeling okay about that. It's kind of nice, all these moves hit super effectively. Um, they don't have an Earth Power switch in if I go after the Entei. So I could, do, I could do that. And then we could fake out the Whimsicott. So we don't have to take a Moon Blast. Seems good. And then I really want to preserve Hip, uh, hip on Top, because I really need that Mon to deal with the Groudon. So I'm probably going to swap it out here. I'll probably swap to... Um, Veltal potentially. Groudon comes in. Okay. So this is probably like a sun boosted something. Maybe there's a sun boosted eruption here. Um, but we'll get a fake out off. And then um, hopefully we can do a lot of damage here. Take a fire. Okay. Yeah, and like they're just coming after this hip on top. Thanks. Um, I think. Do we not have. I feel like we should have our berry here. 
Uh, do we pick up that KO? Okay, that's really good. Nice. Okay, there we go. Ooh, we had to be super low to get that very <laughs> near King KO that day, though. Which is pretty nice. Uh, and how do I want to play out this second turn? So they bring it back in the limit car. And... Okay, so this is kind of scary. Like, I want to go after this Groudon. And... I also need to preserve on top, right? Um, for the Intimidates. So I think I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go into Veltal. Um, there's probably a Moonblast coming right here, actually. Maybe it would be better to go into Comfy. I'd probably take that a little bit better. But this is more for the Precipice Blades um, kind of thought processes of uh, what's going to come here. Oh, they go Tailwind. Okay. Okay, so they have Speed, which, I mean, I knew they were going to have. Um, but we have the Shooker Berry, uh, and then we'll get an Ice Beam off on this, so we'll see how much damage this is going to deal. Which, it still deals a lot. <laughs> that, that was that was weakened, but we're going to get an Ice Beam off onto this, so it'll tear this crowd on. And wow, that is so bulky. Why is this Pokemon so hard to kill? Is that weakness policy too? Uh, the bane of my existence, y'all. Weakness policy. Um, okay, I think I... Do I swap for the Intimidate? Or do I let Need of King go down? Because I'm pretty sure it's just going to go down right here. Um, I could try to protect the stall a turn of, of Tailwind. I have a lot of priorities. I don't know if that matters that much. But he's going to press this blades again, potentially. What if he goes for an attack to hit the Veltal? I think I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to see if he goes for an attack to hit the Veltal. And then, um, do I want to dual wing beat? I think I want to sucker punch the Groudon. Because I need to look to pick up KOs on this one. Oh, we get a crit. It looks like he barely lives, though. Yeah, well, let me take a Moonblast. And then, does he go for Prespice plays again? He does. Okay. Do we dodge it? That would be amazing if we dodge it. But nope. No luck. That's okay, though. So Needle King goes down. Uh, oh wait. There we go. Yes, the Groudon. KO's King. And then he is Weakness Ball. Oh, oops. Uh, and then I think I want Hitmontop here. Hitmontop seems like, seems like the best option. I could fake out the... Um, Whimsicott, and I could go for a Sucker Punch on the Groudon again. I don't know if it has, um... Yeah, I don't know if it has, uh... Protect? How bad is it if it has Protect? Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Fake Out on the Whimsicott, and then... Does it Protect? I feel like it's gonna Protect here, but I can't really take that chance. I think I have to go after Whimsicott. We know it did protect earlier. How much? I still have enough to KO the Groudon, no matter what HP it is, right? Hmm. The safe play is to hit the Groudon. I'm gonna go after the Whimsicott. I think Groudon protects. Although, it, could, it really might not, right? Like, it could just stay in and like knowing that it's gonna it does protect okay that's huge okay and we're gonna get a um fake out plus a uh dual wing beat off from this which is really good that deals so little damage Gosh, this one's okay and then i think my best option here is gonna be to mock punch the um Okay, wonder left. Oh, there's no turn to kill one left, but they're booking one every faster anyway. Um, hmm. How do I do this? So I think I mock punch you and sucker punch you. Yeah, let's do that. They might swap uh, ground on that actually. I can see that happening. And I don't think this mock punch is going to do enough to track down, so I'm expecting to lose. 
Veltal this turn, but we don't have they do fluff, okay. I guess I know they're remaining Pokemon, right? I'm expecting to lose um, the Veltal. Get Montap avoids it. They both avoid it. Wow, that's really big. Okay, so how do I want to play this turn now? Oh, their Tailwind's gone now. Wait, I thought... Oh, I have to look at their, their Tailwind. Whoops. Um... Okay, I'm gonna swap Hitmontop for Comfy. Oh, this is tough. Yeah, I'm gonna swap it for Comfy, I think. If I had Protect on both, I'd be really good here. Um... Sucker Punch is not gonna do enough to crack on, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna try to go for the hit on Whimsicott. I'm pretty sure I lose Veltal right here. And then my plan is to win with the priority from the two of them. Yeah, I guess, I guess it has to be. I, if I had more time, um, I think I would have kept Hitmontop in and swapped out Veltal, because Veltal tails the Groudon. I really need the... Um, Terrakion to go down for... Oh, this is nice. Okay. I think. Yeah, that's actually really nice. We have... Okay, they missed that. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to Drain and Kiss with the Terrakion. Uh, oh, can I heal it up? Could I live a hit if I do that? What if I heal it? I don't think that's the way to go. I think I need to go for an attack. And then um, I am going to swap the coach, the Veltal, because I think I need to KO the... Yeah, I think this goes down. Then I'd have the priority to take on the Groudon. I think this is going to work. I don't know. This feels really tough. But we get the Intimidate drop, which that actually helps, right? And then, um, if we can get enough damage off with our Draining Kiss, then maybe we can pick up the Track Down Tail, but I don't think so. Uh, yeah, Pokemon is so bulky. So bulky. This might uh, potentially be AD. I'm not sure about that, because I don't know that what the cap looks like, really. But we'll lose him on top for sure. I do have Iron Head. Wait, we can take that really well. That surprises me. I did not think we would. Uh, okay, so I think I need to steal up the Velvet. I think is going to be what I have to do here. But I'm not actually sure it's going to help that much. So, okay, so let's for healing the Veltal. And then I'm going to look to Dual Wing Beat the Whimsicott, I think, is going to be the way to go. Because this should be enough to pick up the KO. And then I think I can KO with, like, Draining Kiss plus Sucker Punch. Ooh, this is tough. These, it's, it's going to come down to... Um, okay, they do swap there. That's really nice. Uh, and I think we'll be able to heal up enough to take on the... I think we're going to be able to take a, a Moonblast after this heal. I think. We're going to get the Floral Healing, though. I think, yeah, I think we're going to have enough to take on. I, oh, wow, okay. God, we feel so much from that. That is definitely going to hit Voltal. So we're going to live this hit. We're not going to live this hit because we get crit, don't we? Oh, no. All right, well, that's game, everybody. I, I, I can't. I don't think I can win through the rest of this. Uh, I'm going to try to train kiss the Grout. I mean, they could just attack with both bonds, right? Uh, I, I have to go for the Grout on KO, though. Oh, man, that sucks. That really sucks. Ah, well. Okay, so we pick up the Grout on KO, though. So that's nice. So Comfy KOs uh, Grout on. And then I think we're going to die to, like, Moonblast plus Moonblast. Um, and we're not going to be able to heal enough to get through it all. 
yeah, so like even if I manage to pick up the Tracheon KO, um, I will not have enough HP to fight the uh, Whimsicott. Dang, that crit really sucks. Oh, it really sucks. <laughs> Uh, but sometimes that's the way it goes, you know? Um, I think we made some good decisions that match, so I don't feel like I, I made a whole lot of misplays. Um, the team is just really strong. Groudon's still hard to deal with. Um, that it, it just becomes uh, like a tough game to play. And then uh, Whimsicott put in a lot of work here too. He's also really strong. But that's... Oh, I guess we don't... We don't die from... But we're not going to pick up a KO here. So good game over to him. Uh, it was a it was a hell of a match. And this third game, not third game, the second game here, um, was uh, it was it was tough. It's um, he had a lot of uh, well, I don't even know. Did he ever click protect? I guess he did, right? He clicked protect once on the uh, the Groudon, but um, just like attack, 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 you know. Um, so really good game. Really really good game. So, uh, if you'd like to see some more of our content, I think that puts us at one in three. Okay, I just derailed my ending to <laughs> talk a little bit more. I think we're one in three right now. Um, so, not a great start. Um, but I like how the team has looked overall. I just don't think I've been playing it particularly well. Um, this is my first experience playing without Dynamax, uh, this league uh, specifically. And it's, um, it's definitely very different. I think I'm more used to playing with Dynamax. So getting used to like um, the pivoting and how to kind of play around um, the the swaps uh, in without Dynamax feels a little bit different because um, I think very often uh, I've when I've built a team it's it's very focused around the Dynamax mod uh, and having this it's, it's definitely not right um, so it feels it feels very different in terms of how the games play out. Um, I'm liking it. It's just tough. <laughs> so I feel like I have a lot, uh, a lot to learn. So, um, anyway, good game over to Fiac. And if you'd like to see some more of our content, definitely stick around, like, subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.